Hey folks, this is Mrs. Went. I'm going to show you how to set up your Word document in MLA format. I have a new Word document open in Microsoft Word. Before I get started, I'm going to go ahead and save as. I'm going to put in my student name and the assignment title. Okay, first thing I want to check are the margins. So I'm going to go to Page Layout click on margins and you can see all these numbers and you want to pick the one that says normal top bottom left right are all one inch so that's correct now I want to insert page numbers go to insert over here page number top of page and I want the one on the right hand side I'm going to type the last name whoops don't want to misspell my last name now there's a little trick. The default font is not the same as the font you want for your essay. So I'm going to select it and you'll see this little option pop up or you can right click and then you can choose the correct font. I'm going to have Arial size 12 for my essay so that's what I want in my header. So I'm all done so you can click close or you can just click anywhere in the rest of the document. So let's go ahead and start typing. I'll type my first name, English 102, Section 12. I'm going to put my instructor's name and the due date. Now, technically, you should have the date, the month, and then the year. Most instructors will accept it if you put it the other way around. Just make sure you put your little comma there. Okay, I'm going to hit Enter, and I'm going to put my title. Um, you'll notice that my title is per, is in the same font as everything else and we're going to change the font to size 12 and I'm going to choose Arial. Most instructors ask that you use Arial or Times New Roman. They're, they are a little easier to read and especially for your English instructors who read a lot of essays, it's nice to have something that's easy to read. Okay, so now we have the correct font and font size. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And let's hit Control A on the keyboard so that everything is selected in the document. And let's go ahead and check on the line spacing. Let's go over here to this little area that says Paragraph. And click on this little arrow and go down to this section, the before should have a zero and the after needs zero points. So I'm going to take out the one, line spacing, I'm going to choose double and hit OK. So now the line spacing is correct. I'm going to hit Control S to save it. Now here's our title. Here is my first paragraph for this pretend essay. Now, wherever your cursor is, when you choose something like center up here, it will center that line. So now my title is perfectly centered, and notice there are not a lot of spaces in between the heading, the title, or the first paragraph. And please note that there, the title is not in bold, quotation marks, all of the major words are capitalized, but nothing is in caps. There are not a bunch of exclamation points. It's just a nice plain title. Now let's go to the first paragraph. The first line of each paragraph must be indented. So I'm going to hit the tab button on my keyboard once and it will indent it for me. There are a bunch of these options here, but don't mess with that. So let's type some more details for my first paragraph blah 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 so I type 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 now as soon as you hit enter it will take you to your second paragraph and it automatically taps it over for you it automatically indents it for you here is my second paragraph that is neatly indented on the first line you, you don't have to worry about hitting enter at the end of each line. Microsoft Word will automatically do that for you.
You just want to be sure that the first line of each paragraph is indented. And you'll notice there are no extra spaces between the paragraphs. You only hit enter once. If you hit enter twice, you'll end up with extra space. And I'm going to be sure to run spell check, and you find spell check by hitting review and then hitting spelling and grammar. Or you can right click over those little red lines that. It doesn't like my blah blah blah, so I'm going to ignore their suggestions. I'm going to save, and that's it. You're done. Thank you for watching this MLA format video. I hope it was helpful.